so you mentioned earlier about how you know MLB had declined an offer from the players, and MLB said today no more negotiating. It it did seem like you know like they're not going to go negotiate, but they're still meeting. I'm not sure how exactly that works, um, but I did see Trevor Bauer mention on Twitter uh, beginning of last week, uh, yeah, beginning of this week, where he was saying. Uh, all it is, is Rob Manfred is just wasting time. And I actually heard on Dan Patrick where he always refers to an MLB source. He never uses a name for obvious reasons. But he was saying that this is all scripted. The fact that they don't have an agreement, that Rob Manfred is essentially just filibustering to get to a point where he can say, okay, the most games that we can play right now is 50. I'm implementing it, full prorated salaries, 50 games, go play. I mean... Does it, it, it? And once I saw that, I was like, you know, that actually makes like makes some sense. You that know, this is that, that it, could be what's going on. It it really sounds like it. You know, I think back to to two thousand one nine eleven, mm-hmm. um, with all that stuff that went down, and how important it was that baseball games were played immediately after all that happened, especially mm-hmm. in New York. Yep. And how people flocked to baseball. Like, mm-hmm. everyone came together. You know, President Bush threw out the first pitch at the Yankee game. I mean, it, it just brought people together. I it think did. about, yeah. you know, after the strike of 94, I believe it was, you know, it took some time to get fans back engaged, but they came together because something big was happening, which we'll talk about, you know, later on in the podcast. Yeah. But like baseball is something that people like rely on. Like it it's there mm-hmm. and this this whole mess and I you know I've talked to my dad about players being a little greedy with what they're expecting with pay and stuff like mm-hmm. that uh, because I'm a believer that you know if you're not working you shouldn't get paid. Period. Um Yeah. I yeah, mean, no, I, I agree with that. I, I'm, I'm, there's, it's not like they're laid off where they can get unemployment. Um, mm-hmm. But well, and, and the thing is too is that is even when they're working out, they don't get paid, and they understand that. Sure. And that's why they want so many more games is because they only get paid for games played. Absolutely. And, you know that's why that's why the players are like, yeah, we're willing to play double, triple headers. Let's do it because we want our money. And I I talked with Jason last week about how there are certain guys who like this year could have been the peak of their career, and then next year could have been their opportunity to make the most money possible. Yeah. Or this could have been the last year of a big contract, their last chance to make their maximum amount of money. You know. So I understand why the players are are kind of stingy and upset. Because their window to make money is so small. Sure. And these owners saying that baseball doesn't make money, then why are you in it? I understand it's a hobby and it's a toy. It's not your main source of income. But somebody who's a billionaire isn't going to be dumping money into something if it's not going to be making money. And I don't, I don't buy that, to be well, honest. Because well, they've been talking about how, how they've been making record amounts of money over the last few years. And revenue has been through the roof because of TV deals, regional TV deals, everything like that. Like That's my big issue with this thing is the owner saying, oh, we're losing money. No, you're not. TBS just gave you a billion dollars for TV, uh, for TV money. Well, like, yeah, that, and that, I don't that, buy that. That's something that bothers me too. Is it's like if you knew, if you saying, if you're saying that it doesn't generate revenue, like you said, why would you buy into being an owner of a baseball team? That yeah. that's not logical. Like, there's a disconnect there because mm-hmm. you don't. If okay, if you're a billionaire like they are, like owners are, you've invested in stuff that you know is going to be successful and revenue generating. Mm-hmm. So why would you take the risk of investing in something that you n- you know is not going to generate any revenue? That yeah. that just is baffling to me. So let let's cut yeah. the crap with the owners and saying that and mm-hmm. you know like that that's bogus. Um Yeah. Yeah, and I used to be like such like a like an anti-player guy like oh you're playing you're you know you're getting paid billions of dollars to play a game but with that i totally flip-flopped on that i was like no i am pro player in this case and anti-owner because they can't they can't claim poverty when <laughs> they're obviously not broke right <laughs> right and, you know yeah i just no, I, I don't know it's just it's frustrating is the whole thing is just frustrating i, I mean i say it every week it's it's, it's well and here's the here's the other problem okay i believe is it is it this year or next year 
they're going to have to renegotiate the collective bargaining agreement. After next season. Yeah, yeah. and There's so the 2021 season. I, I honestly think that what's going on right now will hurt, absolutely hurt, the owners in that collective bargaining agreement because – the players can hold more over their heads by saying, well, you did this, you did this, you kept us mm-hmm. from playing, even though we were yeah. negotiating in good faith. Uh, I mean, mm-hmm. it's it's going to be a mess next year. And, like, I hate to say it, but some people have speculated there could be a strike next year again or the oh, year yeah, after. I'm, I mean, it's just nuts. I'm not, I'm not counting on baseball in – in May, in in April and May in uh, 2023, 2022. But that's what's, yeah, no. that's what's it, depressing. It's, yeah. I mm-hmm. mean. Yeah. When I saw somebody this week say no baseball until 2023. Ugh. And that, ugh. I, I was so scared. I didn't even click the link to watch his justification. I was like, no, I don't want to hear it. I don't yeah. even want that to be a thought. Because well, we at least need. I mean, even if they can't figure it out this year, you know, and and I'll and I'll give them a pass this year. I mean, granted, they should be training and, and playing right now. You know, they should be doing spring training 2.0 or whatever. But if if this second wave of of COVID with MLB keeps them from playing this year, I'll give them a pass. But you better get it figured out because you you've got time. You better get it figured out for next year. And you sure as heck better be negotiating that that CBA before 2021 because. You've got time. What else are you doing at this point? I I I totally agree. I I I think that's what's most depressing to me is baseball had a chance mm-hmm. to you know yeah. show the world that hey we're we know that there's something going on that's really bad and hurting a lot of people and you know causing a lot of problems for a lot of people, but you know what we can fight it together. And by taking the field and having a plan in place and putting things together, I mean they could have they could have had a huge impact, not just on mm-hmm. you know the world, but on their own brand mm-hmm. in a positive way. Instead, it's taken a turn for the worst, and you know yep. the Major League Baseball brand is just slowly drifting, you know, yep. down a river right now. That's and it's not looking good. Yeah, it's not in a good spot. Couldn't have said it better myself. 